I'm Adam Jackson, head chef at the Old Deanery in Ripon. So Ripon is a small city, uh, almost like a large market town, and we're situated directly opposite the cathedral. So the exterior of the Old Deanery is very much an old mansion house, and it is very period on the outside. Um, the interior is obviously more modern than the outside. So behind the hotel, there is a beautiful large garden with a lot of lawn space, which will be open for guests to eat and drink in the summer. The inside of the deanery, um, originally when we took over, was very much set as a wedding venue, so very light, airy, um, lots of nice open spaces. Uh, since we've taken over, the decor is much softer, um, a little bit more modern, and we've darkened a lot of the areas to make them a lot cosier and a lot more welcoming. Um, but since taking over, we've uh, turned the operation into a restaurant with rooms. Uh, restaurant itself seats 30 covers um, at a maximum. We have um, a chef's lounge which can also be set up as a chef's table. Um, we like to serve a couple of our snack courses from the chef's lounge so every guest gets that chef's table experience. The primary success level for this restaurant is to make it a destination restaurant and for people to love it. That's the, the main objective. I think if accolades come that's, that's a great but the bonus and the main focus has to be the guest experience and you know every every month we, we like to make that a little bit better. I mean every chef wants to achieve those accolades and those goals. I think for a long time my primary focus was achieving those accolades but I think as you get older and more mature in your cooking I think you, you just have to do what you love and serve the food that you love and hope that those things come. So I've been a chef for approximately 30 years, which is a lot longer than I would like to say, but yeah, 30 years nearly. Um, and I think the food scene in Britain, especially in Yorkshire, has gone from strength to strength. I would say that the food scene in Yorkshire is probably about as good as anywhere in the country now. Um, and I, I think the diners are much more discerning. You know, what they expect from a fine, fine dining restaurant is much higher. And I think the people eating these restaurants are getting more and more knowledgeable about food because of social media, about what's put out through TV. And I think the guest has a much higher expectation than ever. The difficulties with recruiting chefs over the past five, ten years has been very well publicised. Um, and I think the way that I tackle that as a, a head chef or a business operator is to, to get the staff young and, and invest time in them and rather than shout and scream at them which was the the time you know how kitchens were years ago i think it's more about mentoring now and, and trying to instill passion into these young people and i think that the team here is very much that i love the industry and you know you wouldn't do this job for 30 years if you didn't love it and i think that the thing that i like about it now is investing the time in these young people and i love being creative it's almost impossible to drag me away from a, a stove and, and developing dishes, that's what I love and that's what I'll, that's what I'll always do. I, th I think as a chef, when you've been cooking for a long time, you do develop your own style and your own sort of signature sauces or dressings and things like that. But I think each venue has needs to have a, its own identity uh, as much as a chef's identity. And I think the style changes ever so slightly with every venue. Um, I would say this is probably the most me I've ever been in it as a chef and I, I'm now serving the food that I would want to sit in that restaurant and eat. I would say in, f in five years time, I'll be here and I will still be cooking at the stove and still working on the pass every day because that's what I love. Um, but as a team, I think we will, we will keep the core team, but we will eventually add more team members so that we can do a little bit more stuff at the table um, and get the chefs involved a little bit more in service. I think this business has everything that it needs to, to attain the accolades that we, we want as a team um, and what the business deserves.